Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. In this video, I'll be showing you how I use these two products from Bell Bar Organic to prepare a tea rinse and a hair mask for my hair. Um, I don't know about you, but lately with this extremely cold weather, my hair has been super brittle, it's dry and it's breaking, and even my scalp is flaky. So these two products have helped me get a fresh start for January. And as you can see, I am protective styling now because I'm not playing with this weather. It feels like negative 32 degrees and that's not right. Okay. It's not good for me. So keep watching. I'll show you how I prepare the tea rinse, how I prepare the hair mask, and I'll show you how I use them in my hair. Bell Bar Organic specializes in all natural, organic, and customizable skincare and hair care. So you're able to pick exactly what ingredients you want going into your products. I started out by preparing the tea rinse and some of the benefits of a tea rinse are that they generally promote hair growth, they're known to soften hair, increase manageability and restore luster and shine and they're actually really simple to make. You're basically going to steep some tea, let it cool and then apply that to your hair. This was my first time preparing the tea rinse, so I wasn't exactly sure how much I would need, but I decided to go with one tablespoon of the tea, and I steep that with just about half a pot of water in this little teapot I got from an Asian supermarket. I let the tea steep for about five minutes until it was this deep, rich, reddish color. And then I poured it into an applicator bottle that I got from a hair store. And I'm using this bottle because I figured it would be a lot easier to apply the tea to my scalp and hair using the bottle rather than trying to just pour it on. Once I was done, I set the bottle aside so the tea could cool down. For the hair mask, I'll be using this Eden Body Works Natural Deep Conditioner as my base and adding in the Bell Bar hair mask. So for the hair mask, the add-ins I chose were cocoa, avocado oil, honey, cinnamon, and brown sugar. Now if you've watched any of my other hair videos, you'll know I have super thick hair and I use a lot of deep conditioner. So I'm going to be adding three plus tablespoons of the deep conditioner and then I'm going to be adding two teaspoons full of the hair mask. This hair mask smelled so good for a second I even considered tasting it which wouldn't be bad because it's all organic but I decided against it. Uh, once I added in the two teaspoons I stirred it all around using a chopstick. Um, in retrospect, I probably would have used a fork to really grind down and mix all the contents together, but this did the job in the moment. Now that my tea rinse and the hair mask are ready, I'll go ahead and start washing my hair. After cleansing my hair, I'm now ready to apply the tea rinse. And this is where the applicator bottle really comes in handy. I'm able to apply the tea right to my scalp and really get in there because of the nozzle. So if you don't have an applicator bottle, I definitely recommend it for a tea rinse. So not only am I applying the tea rinse to my scalp and hair, I'm also massaging my scalp to stimulate blood flow. And this is just a good practice for a healthy scalp and to get your hair growing. One great tip I picked up from Natural 85 is to actually detangle your hair while you're doing the tea rinse. So after applying the tea to smaller sections, I then went in with a bit of a inexpensive conditioner, detangled my hair and twisted that section just to keep everything 
moisturized, detangled, and soft throughout the process. Here are my chubby twists after applying the tea rinse and the conditioner to detangle. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out and I'll be right back. Now that I've rinsed out the tea and conditioner, I'm going to apply the hair mask. And I'm still working in these twisted sections. I figured that was a great way since I already detangled. Why mess things up? My hair is already looking pretty good just from the tea. And as you can see, I really like the smell of this hair mask. I found the hair mask to be really easy to work with. It was a little messy. Um, some of the bits did fall down, but that's to be expected with DIY. You can't do DIY without a little mess. But my hair was super easy to detangle. Um, it felt soft and smooth. So the one thing I would say, since you're mixing this hair mask into a deep conditioner, use a deep conditioner that you know you already love, that works well for your hair, and that way you're just going to add some extra benefit and extra nutrients to a great conditioner. I just wanted to demonstrate how easy it was to detangle my hair. As you can see, the Denman brush is gliding through so easily, and the conditioner has my curls clumping together really nicely. After applying the hair mask, I put a shower cap over my head and then a microfiber towel and let the hair mask sit for about one hour. After rinsing out the hair mask, my hair was super soft. It was still detangled because I kept it in the twisted sections. And as you can see, it was even defined from those twisted sections. So that was an added bonus. Overall, I was really happy with how it turned out. My hair was super easy to style afterwards. It was extremely manageable and super moisturized. Even though I'm generally afraid of DIY fails, my DIY wash day turned out great using the Bell Bar Organics products. I'll have a link down below if you're interested in checking out their website, what they're about, and some of their products. So check that out and let me know what you think of DIYs. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.